plan to take in any shows while you're in New York? I hadn't really considered it. Dizzy Izzy's a lot of laughs. I could set you up with house seats. Let's keep the favors to a minimum. What do you do for fun, Esther? I run naked through the pages of the United States Criminal Code. Really? I believe I can say with some conviction that the arrangements are in place. Where is he? Miss Randolph, do you wish to be privy to these revelations? In for a penny. Mm -hmm. I applaud your boldness. Secretary Mellon is in Manhattan today, attending to matters particular to his private enterprises. He will, as a creature of habit, take his luncheon at the Union Club on 51st Street and 5th Avenue. How do I get in there? You, Mr. Thompson, cannot. However, Mr. Charles Rickson of Missouri can, on to a reciprocal agreement with the Kansas City Club. Charles Rickson. You have prospered mightily in beef, Mr. Rickson. And your name is on the register. What do I need to know? Andrew Mallon is one of the richest men in the world. As the head of the Treasury Department, he's responsible for enforcing prohibition, as well as collecting the income tax. Neither of which I understand him to be partial to. And he despises Harry Darty. Whom he regards as no more than a common thief, not to cast aspersions on our employer. <laughs> Is that enough to get Mellon to arrest Remus? The Secretary's business interests are manifold. He is prominent in finance, steel, coal. He is also the majority shareholder in the old Overhope Distillery in West Overton, Pennsylvania. Andrew Mellon owns a distillery? Pointless possession in this day and age, but it is remarkable how large small irritations can loom in the minds of great men. That's all you're going to give me? Rather more than you walked in with. The rest will be a tribute to your resourcefulness. You know, I don't think I do want to hear everything. 